Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And this game will see the Seattle Storm going up against the Washington Mystics. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. You gotta love tonight's contest. Two of the top offensive teams in the W. So what will this one come down to? Well, it always comes down to which team scores the most points. All right, to be serious, it's really about who can string together just a couple of stops in a row. I agree, Tim. I mean, just three or four stops in a row could lead to a big run considering the way these teams score. But buckle up because this should be a fun one. And I know we all love points. Now here's Clark. Pass to Deladon. Here's Heinz Allen. Outside Atkins. Just five to shoot. Knocked loose. Launches it. A rebound by Della Don. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. Now here's Charles. Here's Atkins. Misses the layup. You try to double clutch it like that, and a lot of times you only one in the back. They get the first bucket of the game there. And this should be a good one, guys. Buckle up your seatbelts. Here's Seattle. Outside Stewart. Pass to Lloyd. That one goes in. The body Assistant control on her is Brianna tremendous. Stewart. Lloyd is not easily taken off her game. Impressive make. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes played. And that one's good. That's exactly what they're going for in that possession. Lloyd with it. Oh, there's the whistle. She was going in for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure if they were going to call a foul or not. So we've got a couple free throws coming up. First free throw is good. She makes both free throws. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Deladon outside. Atkins. Pass to Heinz Allen. Deladon covered by Lloyd. Shot clock at five. From 15 feet away, Bird pulls it in. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. She just doesn't miss many of them. Jacks up a three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. Please, please don't take your eyes off her because she can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Now here's Atkins. Eight feet out. Goes back up, and there's the bucket as Charles finishes it off. Easily one of the most tenacious rebounders in the league. Charles is very familiar with second chance points. Well, the former MVP, Tia Charles, still a force whenever she's on the floor. One of the best double-double threats in the history of the league. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now, here's Clark. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Here's Heinz Allen. Back to Atkins. Off target with the three. 
And with Charles, the 2012 MVP, as you mentioned, she can really control a game on the glass. And she's one of the most reliable bigs in the league. She shows up every game, is rarely injured, and always gives great production. The numbers she's put up over her career are incredible. Clark, guarded by Bird. Left side, Charles. Hines Allen. And no good to start the night, missing her first attempt. Pass to Lloyd. Rebounded by the Mystics. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Atkins with it. Alicia Clark on the wing. Tries again, and the layup is good. With an eagerness to do anything, and I really mean anything, for a W, Clark just inspires her team with her play. Now here is Lloyd. Pass to Stewart. Over Charles. That one off the back iron and out. The Mystics trailing. Clark outside. Here's Heinz Allen. And the layup's good Heinz off the glass. Down. This coach loves when Heinz Allen is on the front foot. Good things happen when Maisha attacks the rim. Seattle calls timeout. We're in the final stretch of the season. Team's looking to jockey for position. So how do you avoid a late season collapse? It's easier said than done, but you have to keep focus. I think lots of times the late season woes have to do with losing your edge. And that's where your, 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 your leaders come in. And that's where your veterans come in. They can get the attention of a locker room. And they can help right the ship once things go off course. Time from Tina Charles. Clark outside. Della Don. Outside Atkins. And Brianna Stewart with the block. Excellent timing as a shot blocker. Stewart adds a significant dimension to her team's defense. Time didn't have to slow down at all. That lead pass was timed perfectly. Washington calls timeout. The nice thing about Brianna Stewart is I don't have to tell you how good she is. One look at her impressive trophy case is all it takes to see that she's one of the league's most elite players. Washington has possession. It's a three-point game. 
You know, when Stewart came into the league, she already had a collection of accolades worth bragging about. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she collected plenty of championship and national player of the years in her college days. But ever since that uh, WNBA Rookie of the Year, she has only continued to earn awards, win championships, get ranks. She has put her foot on the gas pedal this quarter. She's doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Here's Weiss. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Walker Kimbrough to the middle. Here's Deladon. And they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. Canada. She's covered by Mitchell. To the inside. Della Don. A good finish at the rack off the slick Walker. Down low, Della Don has the ability to score in droves. It's part of why she normally scores around 20 points, sometimes even more most nights. Back to Canada. Six on the shot clock. Here's Russell. One up, one down. Two points for the first shot in this game. Once Russell gets inside, it's already too late. She has a nice touch around the basket. Mitchell outside. Pass to Weiss from deep. Russell pulls it in. Seattle leading. Here's Samuelson. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. That takes tremendous focus. Samuelson has elite shooting ability, which means she scores when it's hard. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. Mitchell with it. Canada grabs the board. Seattle with the ball to the paint. And it's Seattle yes, scoring again. She has been unconscious this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Time, time called out, time here. Time the, Mystics the Mystics decide to talk it over. And when it comes to Jordan Canada, her unselfishness really stands out. Her teammates appreciate her willingness to share the rock. And she takes this responsibility very seriously. Guarded by Russell. Walker Kimbrough misses. Canada is the type of guard every coach would love to have. She's all about running the offense and making teammates better. Yeah, and that goes a long way. In turn, it helps the team perform better, be more efficient. And that is why they really value Canada's leadership on the floor and in the locker room. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. It's good. She scores. That's her first basket after missing her first two attempts. One for three. And here's Prince. Here's Magbagor. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. 
Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Basket Two counts. Four, four, eight, Looking eight, some magic four. inside. Diamond and that falls Megan on Mitchell's Gustafson. experience. And I think that's what helps her in these types of situations. Yo, 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 right here. Now here is Canada. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now Prince. Clock at six. Rebounded by Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Gustafson. Mitchell. Off target from outside. And that does it for the first quarter. Storm out in front. They lead by seven. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? The work they've done here early on the glass has been very nice. Yeah, they've definitely established a good low post presence. The Mystics trailing. Falls through. She's now made two out of four. When it comes to cutting to the hoop, Mitchell is so good. It's a combination of the burst and the smarts. Pass to Burke. From 12 feet out, count it. Good. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Now Gustafson. Mitchell with it. And here's Gustafson. Pass to Weiss. Five to shoot. The shot that time, not on target. And the storm going the other way now. Just a slight advantage for them in the rebound department. Yeah, especially when you're scoring the ball at, at even a decent clip. They've done what's necessary to take the lead. A nice shot Maggie by McIlroy. You know, quite simply, few Jordan players Canada. make better decisions than Jordan Canada. Obviously, the right choice there. Pass to Mitchell. Let's a floater go. And that's two, two points, points on the way. What touch on the soft floater. Mitchell continues to get it done in a variety of ways. Outside Canada. Now Magvagor. Here's Burke. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for a solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. And the Mystics call time here. On D. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. 
Charles, guarded by Russell. The 10 footer. That one a little Mystic off. Style. Well, controlling the boards. Call. They're plus five First in that category. Foul, team yeah, and look, First rebounding, team it's foul. not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. A basket here would push their lead to double digits. Looking in control. Here's Lloyd. Laid in with a nice Ooh, touch Lloyd. on the glass. The sick handles of Lloyd. It works well in the two-player game. It puts defenders into a tough spot. Now here's Atkins. Pass to Clark. And here's McCall. Back to Clark. Five on the clock. Shoots over Bird. Clark can't hit. And here are the Storm now. They lead by 11. And Alicia Clark, the veteran forward, missed time due to a foot injury. But uh, it is so great to see her back out there on the floor. Here's Talbot, guarded by Charles. A nice Stephanie shot by Talbot. Talbot. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Now here's Atkins. Ariel Atkins on the wing. Shoots over Russell. And another miss by Washington. And for Clark, a two-time champion, you gotta love the experience she brings to the table. Yeah, she's a great presence to have on the floor, and she's one of the better two-way wings in the game. She doesn't have any true weaknesses. She makes any team better. Now here's Charles. Here's Ariel Atkins outside. Bangs on the trifecta. A dynamic and efficient distance shooter. Atkins has established a perimeter presence. Pass to Lloyd. Russell with it. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Here's Heinz Allen. It's deflected. At six foot six, Russell is a capable shot blocker. She knows how to make a statement on defense. And there it is. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's Atkins. Foul call Storm that foul. time on the way up. Stephanie First person to foul. Teams One of the best at getting freebies. Tina team Charles foul. normally in the top ten in free throw attempts in this league. Shooting First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Tina Charles taking two shots. Shooting two. One falls for her. And for WNBA front offices, perhaps the biggest challenge is navigating the cap. That certainly affects team building. Yeah, and there's an extra emphasis on developing talent, developing draft picks. Rookie contract scale is so much lower, so a good player still on their first deal, they can have incredible value in this cap system. And the cap forces you to make tough decisions. We've seen some top role players traded over the last couple off seasons because teams just didn't have enough room for them and their stars. Now here's Atkins. She's got seven. Pass to Heinz Allen. Clark. Deladon inside. Stewart's there. Deladon, no good. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Now Heinz Allen. She gets it to she fall and that makes it easy. Oh, you're talking about a player in Heinz Allen who barely took any threes in college. But this is a part of her game she has added since becoming a professional. Now here is Stewart. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Uses the glass Brianna to finish Stewart. the layup. 
The defense cannot forget about her like that. If you do, she will light you up. Pass to Heinz Allen. Now Clark. Right side, Charles. Deladon outside. Atkins with it. It's a deflection. Defended by Atkins. Down low. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Shots. First personal foul. That one on Charles. Second team With the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. That's some old school defense. Just telling them no easy layups. As simple as that. And I like to see it. She makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Heinz Allen. Five points in the game. Atkins. Denied once again. She's misfiring tonight, shooting three for ten. There's no way around it. It's been a difficult game for her offensively, and it has cost her team. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Now here's Della Don. Pass to Heinz Allen. And another miss by Washington. Inside. And Brianna Stewart Stewart. gets it to go. Assist Great ball from movement to the open KD player. Sanderson. Danielson with her head on a swivel. And Washington has possession. Trailing by 13. Now here is Atkins. Deladon right side. The shot off that time. Good work defensively by Brianna Stewart. Let's go with a three. The shot, no good. And Washington will go the other way with it. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. And here's Heinz Allen. Outside Charles. Atkins up top. Tries to snap the cold streak. Will not go. Misses off the front Two iron. Her stroke looks a little minutes. shaky this quarter. Not much is hitting the target. Here's Stewart. The shot drops. Her Stewart. shooting percentage improves. And she's three for seven with that basket. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside. And they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Atkins. Charles, it's good for her second make so far. It's hard to knock Time Charles off her score. center of gravity, especially when she's focused on scoring. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. 
Floats one. Oh. Alina Deladon with the block. Just another thing Deladon does on the floor well. Using that length to reject shots. We know about her offense, but she's also been top ten in the league in blocks a few times. Right here. Here's Weiss. Back to Deladon. The jump hook. And that's Basket good. Ball. Off the glass that time. Now Prince. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Talbot. And here's Prince. Shot clock at six. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Prince. And it's pretty Over. hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. When you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. Now here's Deladon. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Storm. That is an unforced error if I've ever seen one, guys. This is not an ideal pass. Teresa plays Oats. And here are the Storm now. Here's Prince. Takes the three. Unable to get that one to go. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's the Storm. They lead by 14. And we'll be back with you shortly. same as we get the third started. Here's the Mystics with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Outside Charles. And she banks in the layup. When it comes to scoring in the paint, Tina Charles is as good as anyone in the history of this league. Has every post move in the book. Now here is Stewart. Banked in off the glass. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Now here's Deladon. Covered by Lloyd. Pass to Atkins. No good off the back of the rim. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this game. Here's Stewart. Just five on the clock. From 11 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Deladon outside. Clark. Pass to Heinz Allen. Back to Clark. Let's it fly from 18. A rebound by Brianna Stewart. Drops in the layup, off glass. Yeah, late reaction for the defense. She's always going to convert that. The Mystics really having a tough go here. 
And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a hard time getting it going. A rebound by Charles. Pass to Atkins. Deladon outside. And here's Heinz Allen. To the middle. Atkins. Good work defensively by Brianna Stewart. Boy, the complexion of this game would be a whole lot different if she had shot the ball anything like she's Jewel capable boy. of. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. And here's Heinz Allen. Five points in the game to stop the drought. Bird pulls it in. A big lead for them, both on the scoreboard and the rebounding call. Well, the rebounding has been a big key, asserting their will, and they've taken control. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Deladon outside. Storm foul. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Side Atkins, Della Don, covered by Lloyd. Left block shot on the way, and another miss by Washington. From deep three-point range, and the rebound goes to the Mystics. Pass to Heinz Allen. Now here's Clark. Down low. Atkins and another miss by Washington and the storm with possession they've only Three allowed points. two points so far in the second half well, the first stop from the D there was to protect the rim. So good idea to take the transition three. Time out, time out. And the Mystics call time here. Really, they're not pleased at all with the look they've given up inside. And they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen. And I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense. And that's a recipe for disaster. Washington now. Now Heinz Allen. She's got five. Six on the shot clock. Atkins. To halt the run. And Drew Lloyd pulls it down. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Misses the three. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Now here's Della Don. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Pass to Lloyd. Leaps for it, and out of bounds, the Mystic. Washington ball. Into the storm, Katie Lou Samuelson.
It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. Here finds Allen. The Mystics again can't hit. And it's the Storm with the ball. A 21-point lead. The biggest in this game. Lloyd. And no good. Alina Della Don with the defensive effort. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Now here's Atkins. She's got seven. Looking to end her cold spell. Can't capitalize inside. It's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if she continues to miss those kinds of shots. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle retains possession. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Della Don covering. And it's Lloyd missing. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Oh, and the fast break for the Storm. Pass to Stewart. From the yard. He can't hit that time. And it's the Mystics taking it the other way. Now here's Clark. Here's Deladon. Here's Heinz Allen. Five points in the game. Six to shoot. Here's Charles. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And it's the Storm with the ball. They've only allowed two points yeah, so far in the second half. Assisted. The will, the desire. When Stewart is locked in offensively, there's little you can do to stop her. Here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Charles. Here's Deladon, covered by Lloyd. And here's Heinz Allen. Clark. Off the mark, and the drought continues. Allen pulls it in. Outside Atkins. And here's Heinz Allen. And another miss by Washington. Defended by Atkins. Pass to Lloyd. Excellent D there from Ariel Atkins. Mark outside. Two minutes. Here's Heinz Allen. Now Atkins. Out of bounds. He gets his ball as Washington keeps possession. In for the storm. Four on the clock. Yo, watch her. From deep. They get a hand on it. And a three-on-three -three fast break. Hey, yo, 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 right here. Now here is Canada. Defense right on her. To the paint. Samuelson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First From the basketball foul, family, Kitty Lou Samuelson's sister foul. Carly has played with the Sparks. Her other the sister storm. Bonnie was a big Katie time Lou college Sanderson. player. I can only the imagine the games of horse those three had growing up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she can't get the first one. So both teams making some changes here. Right. 
She hits the second from the line. And they're getting beat up pretty bad out there. Yep. You know, they can't keep up the status quo. They've got to make some changes. Yeah, this game will be over quickly. Stolen by Russell. Now Prince. Out to the wing. A shot by Canada. No good. Mitchell outside. The shot comes out. Jordan Canada with the defensive effort. Here's Samuelson. Canada up top. To the inside. A nice shot Is by McAvoy. Great communication between teammates there. Now here's Deladon. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Five on the shot clock. Goes up on the baseline. Here's Blazons. And a good Two offensive points. board, and she Blazons. gets the bucket. Man, they have got to put a body on her because otherwise, with her agility and athleticism, they're just not going to be able to contain her on the offensive glass. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one sided affair. Storm out in front, running away with it. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, she's always the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are her bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out and we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter might not come down to the wire but you never know Watch her. Canada with it ball, ball. and it's one of the biggest questions in WNBA circles when are we going to see expansion I think we will soon there are significantly more than 144 great women's basketball players in the world. And talent-wise, this league can more than handle a couple more teams. Oh, from a, a business perspective, there are untapped major markets in the United States, in, in Canada, maybe other places around North America. Some opportunities to engage new fans. To me, it's a win-win for the league. And Brian, I think it's coming soon. That one doesn't drop, so the Mystics will take it the other way. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Now Heinz Allen. Walker Kimbrough. Inside. The call shot is off. we played just over a minute here in the fourth quarter. A shot by Canada, no good. She hasn't made an impact from the field, but the team is getting it done. She owes a big time. To the left wing. Here's Walker Kimbrough, guarded by Canada. It's good. Chitauri, Walker Kimbrough for two. And here is Bird. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. If you're a WNBA fan and you want to see your team play on the road, what's the best city for a road trip? Oh, this one's easy. Vegas, baby. The Aces organization, you know, they've done an incredible job in a new remodeled great arena plus if you go at the right time you could also catch nba summer league and of course it's las vegas guys and there are plenty of other things to do in las vegas right tim 
I think I saw you at the blackjack table last time we were there. I don't think we were Anyways, I gotta go with New York. There's just something about the energy of the big city. And there's a reason why some consider NYC the basketball capital of the U.S. From 11 feet away, that one, no good. Some solid defense from Sue Bird. Here's Russell. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. Offensive rebounding is about energy and effort, and Russell displays both for the second chance bucket. Here's Walker Kimbrough, guarded by Bird. Pass to McCall. Hines Allen. Now Walker Kimbrough. Elena Deladon for three. Bird pulls it in. Those have been some, some terrible shot choices, Blake. Uh, that was not good at all. Drains the three-pointer. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Here's Gustafsson. Guarded by Russell. Clock at six. Della Don. No good again that time. It's stolen by Elena Della Don. And she uses the glass on the layup. So this play really shows off Della Don's strength. Able to push past the contact and finish strong. Now here's Bird. Della Don covering. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. With the WNBA passing the 25th season mark, I love to put you guys on the spot. So here we go. Which is the best team in league history? I'm going to take it way back on you two and bring up the 2000 Houston team. They won the title for the fourth straight year and were one of the most efficient teams offensively of all time. Give me the 2019 Mystics. They also won a title, finishing with the best offensive rating in history. Really what's most impressive, they set a league record with 12 wins by 20 or more points. You don't see a lot of those. I mean, they just dominated the competition. Pass to Deladon. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Bird. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Now here is Canada. Guarded closely. Makes it off the glass. Lightning quick. And Jordan Canada is just so hard to stop. She gets to the rim at will. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Shoots from 12. That shot, no good. Here's Canada. Gustafsson with the rebound. Not our best game, but they're getting it done selectively. To the wing on the left. And here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Back to Deladon. A call. From deep three point range. Out of bounds. It'll go to Storm. Storm ball. Into the storm. Now here's Bird. She's covered by Clark. And Sue Bird, here we go. The shot will not fall. Good D by Tina Charles. Pass to Heinz Allen. 
We've seen players gain more power in the WNBA, especially since the new CBA. Yeah, more freedom of movement. That's one of the, the things players really wanted and got in the last CBA. But also things like travel, a career development opportunities, maternity and child care. Those got some big time upgrades for the players. Yeah, and much better compensation. Lots of top players now seeing their salaries triple. Kudos to the league and players for coming together and reaching an agreement that invests in our game. Deladon outside. Over Stewart. Not enough on that one as it misses. She's sort of lost in this quarter. Nothing's going right for her. Puts up a three. Doesn't go that time. So the Mystics will take it the other way. Ariel Atkins on the wing. Heinz Allen. Good on the shot. A capable distributor. Atkins is able to see the big picture within the game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Atkins on the double team. Pass to Stewart. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle Storm retains ball. possession. As one of the first leagues to return to play in 2020, the WNBA had incredible success in the bubble. How important for first personal Massive. It started with a big increase in ratings and interest in the draft. And it ended with a big bump in finals viewership. With mostly everyone stuck inside, the WNBA provided a great outlet for fans. And I think the important part of that, the league gained tons of new fans. The goal is to continue to grow the game, and I think that 2020 season certainly did that. Drafted first overall back in 2002, Sue Bird has done everything in the WNBA. Made all-star teams, won titles, really a true role model for any young player coming up in this league. And good on the second, so she makes both. The Mystics on offense. Now Heinz Allen. Ariel Atkins on the wing. Six to shoot. Pass to Clark. That drops and it comes up with six. Assist. Yeah, coaches fall in love with Clark's demeanor because she means business when she's on the court. Della Don brings the double team. Drops in the lamp for two. Sometimes it looks like Lloyd can do anything she wants out there. She is such a tough cover. Heinz Allen, pass to Atkins. Now here's Clark. For three. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. This is a serious, game-clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit just to, to finish this one off. It's Ariel Atkins with the drive. Clark outside. Elena Deladon on the wing. Outside, Atkins. Goes up, high post. Misses there. So Seattle takes this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them in an enemy territory, no less. It was enemy territory, but with the way that they controlled the game, they took the crowd completely out of it. That's how to get it done on the road. 
So that's going to do it for this one, folks.